All right, so I'm gonna do a reading for the sign of cancer today. Cherry card at the bottom of the deck. So here we go. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What do we have for you? One, two, three. Okay. What's the current situation for Cancer right now? Ooh. You didn't see that. What's the current situation for Cancer right now? of swords. <laughs> Why is the three of swords happening? The four of cups. <laughs> it looks like someone took too long to do something. Something happened where Either a decision wasn't ever really made or something that took too long to come to fruition or wasn't solidified or decided upon led to a three of swords in this current situation right now. Okay, what is um, in the recent past? What happened in the recent past? two of wands and what else the moon so in the recent past things were very secretive things were um, not upfront that's what I'm getting and it seems that two of wands here kind of signifies to me that um, you know things were not made as a joint Alliance, whatever it is, relationship or a, some kind of collaboration. It wasn't done as a team. It was done to everyone just kind of doing their own thing. This guy is just marching to the beat of his own drum. So that's the message I'm getting from that, accompanied with the moon card, which is just of like secrets, unknowns. There was no trust there either. So, okay. So what's crowning them? What's crowning right now? as this like heartbreak situation is going on, what's crowning for cancer? Okay, well it looks like you are healing. You're healing from this. But it also seems as though you are, you maybe feel like there's a way to salvage this because I see the Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, and Four of Wands. <laughs> With the Two of Swords in the middle. And that kind of signifies to me that you have a choice to either pick the Ten of Cups, which is trying to bring things back together in some way or thinking about it. Obviously, it you know, we can't do things all on our own. It has to be a joint decision agreed upon, right? But you're contemplating that between these two paths of possibilities, where there's the Ten of Cups or the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands stands out to me as more of an independent compared to the Ten of Cups here, because there's two people in this one and there's only one person here. So either way, you are healing though in some way because you can see that you can find growth and fulfillment on both ends of the spectrum, which is great. I think that's a great way to handle things. Now, let's look at the root. What's in the root? the star and the 
the strength card. So, hmm, this might not be your first cycle of life because I see a lot of spiritual support behind you. With the star card here, it's Major Arcana, Aquarius. So you have almost like some ancient knowledge, maybe. You felt like you've always been kind of like the one that, you've always felt different from everyone around you in some way in the past. And with the strength card, I feel that you've always had guardian angels by your side, helping you through this process of inner growth. Maybe you've had to go things alone a lot in your life and had to figure out how to evolve on your own without the help of others spiritually because you might've had a harder time connecting. Um, maybe and maybe not, who knows? Maybe you don't have any difficulty connecting with others at all, but in a way you've always felt um, kind of separate from others maybe. But you've always had help there. Spiritual help was always there for you at the root. So what's in the possible soon to come forwards? The Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Well, I would be careful because it looks like conflict could possibly be coming forwards with some betrayal, maybe. Possibly, but why? Someone might be jealous of you. Someone who has emotions for you maybe feels rejected by you in some way. Maybe someone who is in their emotions. So they react in this way by trying to hurt you maybe okay <laughs> and so what's a card to represent how you're reacting to all this the hierophant so you're you're reaching out to the divine i feel and you're handling it in the most fair possible way you can. Hierophant card is of spiritual, um, you know, knowledge. He is the counterpart to the high priestess. It's all of spiritual, uh, spiritual nature there behind it. Um, you're tapping into more esoteric knowledge of how to understand the way that life works and flows maybe so that's your reaction trying to balance things out and be more fair what about your environment what does your environment look like Okay, Ace of Wands with the Emperor. It looks like things are moving um, quite fast, maybe. Um, just with like everybody is kind of motivated and driven to do something. This could also represent an Emperor around you that is very driven. Um, constantly, you know. Constantly starting new projects of some kind, authority figure. Could be someone that inspires you to, to, um, you know, be more driven yourself in some way. What about the hopes and fears of cancer? Hmm. Your hopes, well, your fears, really. You, deep down, you don't want to be alone. 
you don't want to experience loss because loss is a very painful feeling. With, I mean, even though you could be independent and you know that you are independent within yourself, truthfully, deep down, you don't want to be left on your own. You would like to be able to share it with someone. You don't want to fall into poverty and you don't want to have to walk alone on this life path. <laughs> what is the possible distant outcome for cancer? Okay, but why? But why though? <laughs> so in the possible Disney out outcome, I got the devil card and the eight of swords, which is of bondage and isolation, um, being bound by addictions. Um, that's a possible distant outcome for you. Okay. And then I ask why. And I got the four of swords and the ace of swords. Your mind could play a part in your own demise if you're not careful. And taking too long to make up your mind on what you really want to do instead of moving all over the place and not having a destination not really knowing where you're going in life, not knowing, not truly figuring out, okay, what is it that I want? Do I want to be swept away with the ocean tide and not know where it ends? Or do I want to have, do I want to believe that I can still change and have somewhat of a control over my own life? there's two different things. Yes, we cannot have absolute control. That's impossible. But we can be the architect of our fate. And it's how you operate. Are you going to operate by just going with the waves? And wherever the wave takes you, that's where you land. But you're allowing it to manipulate you and take you in certain ways. Or do you want to be, I mean, even though you're not fully in control, Maybe try and build your boat. Build a boat. And yes, the wave's still going to take you to some unexpected territory that you can't control. However, you will have some more stability there in a boat. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. Because with the Four of Swords and the Ace of Swords being the answer as to why there's a possibility of in the distant outcome being the devil card and the eight of swords tells me that someone has a tendency to get stuck in their mind and they feel like they have to isolate themselves Maybe also because they feel badly that they're going to be a burden to others because if they express what they're going through, it's burdensome. So then that takes away clarity and people don't know what's really going on in your life. The Ace of Swords is about clear communication. And when I'm looking for an answer as to why, what could be the cause of a more difficult outcome, it tells me that the clarity and clear communication may not be there. So just be on the lookout for that. All right, that's what I have for you, and I hope you liked it. Peace out.